1180. Is coming. Intel CPU roadmap leaks and AMD officially releases their B450 chipset. Stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to GamerMeld. It's finally coming. What was originally rumored that Press had been invited to an event at Gamescom is now official. Nvidia announced their GeForce Gaming Celebration event, and it's pretty much definitely going to be the reveal of their next generation graphics cards. For those who may not know, Gamescom is a huge gaming expo that's held in Germany from August 21st through the 25th of this year. Nvidia's GeForce event starts on the 20th though and it's from 6 p.m. to midnight Central European time. Then, it's followed up on the 21st from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, this is clearly a huge event. And while there isn't a mention of the company's graphics cards, they did say that, quote, the event will be loaded with new exclusive hands-on demos of the hottest upcoming games, stage presentations from the world's biggest game developers, and some spectacular surprises. If you can't tell, it's that last part to look at. Plus, why make such a big deal about exclusive demos and games? It's not like Nvidia has some new tech that's likely to come out with these new cards or anything. Wait, if that wasn't enough to convince you, remember that Hot Chips event Nvidia was listed to go to and discuss, quote, Nvidia's next generation mainstream GPU. Then the listing suddenly changed when stories came out of it. Yeah, that was for the 20th of August. Of course, we've gotten news that they postponed the chips, which could explain why it's more of an announcement now. Either way, if they don't release it, I'd be shocked. And don't forget that at least one board partner's cards are expected on the 30th of August. Next up for today, XFastest have reported some alleged Intel roadmaps that give us an idea of the company's future CPU release dates. What's odd is that XFastest actually updated the original roadmap from the future. I'm kidding, I know the time zone difference. Either way, they changed it from a release date in the first quarter of next year to the third quarter of this year. That's obviously odd, so keep in mind that this is more of a rumor. First thing though, you can see these chips are in fact a copy lake refresh, so they probably won't be 12 nanometer and definitely not 7. Also, it looks like there's going to be a full on new lineup covering pretty much every SKU. And as previous rumors suggested, the company does look to be keeping the Z370 chipset on top of the upcoming Z390. So yay for continued support. Lastly, their enthusiast lineup is apparently getting a full refresh as well in Q4, but luckily, it'll also retain support for their current X299 enthusiast chipsets. Thank you. Lastly for today, we knew they were coming, but AMD has officially announced their B450 chipset, and all of their partners followed suit. When it comes to the new mid-range chipset, you can expect better VRMs and memory support, along with enhanced XFR2 and precision boost compared to last gen's B350. They're also going to be guaranteed to support second gen Ryzen out of the box, so you won't have to borrow an APU to update the BIOS like you do with some B350 boards. That's mostly the only difference between this and last gen's AM4 boards, so there isn't too much of a reason to upgrade if you already have a B350. For those who don't and are interested in one, they're priced between $70 and $160, and they are actually currently available. If you want me to do a video comparing them, let me know down in the comments below. So while that does it for today, what did you think of the news? Ready to finally get new GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below, and as always, have a great day.